Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about self-discipline. How do we develop the self-discipline in our trading? Because everybody makes videos. I know everybody makes videos on technical analysis, this strategy, that strategy, you know, this order block, that fair value gap, all that good stuff, which is useful, which is very useful. You got to have, it's, you want to have proper technical analysis. That's important as well. But the most important thing, the absolute most important thing when it comes to trading is discipline. Okay. Because you can know everything. You can know every concept in the book. You can know every SMC concept or whatever technical analysis concepts that you use, you can know it all. But if you don't have the discipline, you'll still fail. Doesn't matter how much you know, okay? We got charters everywhere. We got charters everywhere on Twitter. We all see them. But a lot of these guys, they they still aren't able to trade successfully. Why? Because it's not about how much you know, really. It's about knowing how to use what you got, sure, but you also gotta have amazing self-discipline. You gotta have patience as well, okay? So today's video, we're gonna be covering that. I'm gonna teach you how you can have that discipline. We're going to cover it all in this video right here, right now. Okay. I challenge you to exercise enough discipline to sit through this video. A lot of people, they've already clicked off. A lot of people, they, they lack, they don't have an ounce. They don't even have a ounce of self-discipline. They've already clicked off the video. So if you're here, you're prop, you're already ahead of most people. If you're still here listening, if you're listening to this right now. You're already ahead of most people because most people or a lot of people, they've already clicked off. They don't even have that much self-discipline. So I, so I challenge you sit through this video because I think if, if you do, I think you're going to take away something very useful from this. If you're able to sit through it, if you're able to, if you're able to get through it, I think you're going to get a lot out of this video. Okay. So number, we're going to go over a few things first. So a lot of people, they don't even have a strategy. It's much easier to stay disciplined when you have a back tested strategy that you're comfortable with. That's number one. There is a large sum of individuals who come into the marketplace and their go, what they do every single day is they simply trade what looks good to them. Okay, this looks like it's gonna go up, let me buy it. This looks like it's gonna go down, let me sell it. That is not an effective way to trade. You need a plan, you need a strategy, and you need to have back tested that strategy, looked at old data, looked at old charts to trust that strategy. Okay. Just by doing that alone, just by having a strategy that you're comfortable with, that fits your personality, that you have back tested, that you have looked at hundreds, thousands of charts of the same exact thing. You've seen the same exact thing over and over and over and over again. You know, the ins and outs of your strategy, you know, every single thing that needs to be checked off the list in order for you to take a trade just by doing that alone. Just by having a strategy that you're comfortable with, it is way easier to be disciplined because you know what you're doing. You know what you're looking for. And it's much easier for your mind to take you on in a destination that you don't want to go when you don't know where you're going. If you go into the market, just trading what looks good, what do you think is going to go up? What do you think is going to go down? I'm telling you, it is much easier to trade like a degenerate. You just go, just go off course. So that's number one. If you don't do that, you need it. You need a... You need a strategy that you're comfortable with. That's number one. Okay. Now, once you get your strategy, because some of you, you're probably thinking, okay, well, I have a strategy I'm comfortable with. I have a strategy that I know the ins and outs of my strategy. I got my rules. Okay. But I still, I still am not able to follow those rules. I'm still not able to stay the course. So what's wrong with me? Why can't I do it? Now it's going to sound cliche, but it's the truth. And this is the only, this is, this is, this is it. This is the truth and what you need to do. So at the end of the day, it's a mindset shift. When it comes to developing that self-discipline, it's a mindset shift. I know a lot of you don't want to hear that, but it's the truth and you're not going to find anything else. So what is that mindset shift that you need to make in order to get that self-discipline? So let me give you a little bit of my backstory. Let me tell you what I did personally, and then you can take from that what you want. When I blew up my first account, which was due to revenge trading, okay, what happened was I took a few L's. I got my ego take a hit, my ego took a hit, and then I'd go back into the market, try to recoup that money, which really wasn't even about the money. It was just about me wanting to be right. And I took the market beating me as like a competition because I'm a very competitive individual that did not sit right with me. I said, hey, I'm not losing, I'm gonna win. So I would just keep on taking trades, keep on taking trades, just trying to recoup that money. And what do you know end up happening? All gone. That's how you blow up. That's how you blow up accounts. And after that, that was all it took for me. That was all it took for me. And then I, I had to, I came to like a crossroad. 
had, I came to a crossroad where I had to make a decision. And I said to myself, so listen closely, this is the conversation I said I had with myself. So we have a choice here. We can continue to revenge trade. We can continue to let our emotions get the best of us. We can continue to lack discipline. We can continue to act like a degenerate. But the road that that leads to, the only road that that's going to lead to is more blown up accounts. It's going to lead to me working a dead end job for the rest of my life. It's going to lead to me being unsuccessful. That's all it's going to lead to. That's all lack of discipline leads to. That's all that letting your emotions get the best of you. That's all it leads to. That's it. And the other path, the better path, the path of discipline, the path of following my plan, the path of executing daily like a professional, you know what path that leads to? That's the path that leads to your dreams. That's the path that leads to you accomplishing every single goal that you have set in your mind, that you possess in your mind. Those are the only two paths and you have a choice. And that choice that you make is 100% in your control. Okay. Nobody's forcing you. Did anybody put a gun to your head to tell you to take that impulsive trade, to take that trade that was not inside your plan? Was, it, was somebody there with a gun to your head saying, take that trade? Nope. You took that trade. That was 100% in your control. You were 100% conscious when you made that trade. So you need to be self-aware of the conversations that you're having, you're having with yourself when you do that. Because when you took that trade, what you prioritized was a short-term hit of dopamine. You prioritized a short-term hit of dopamine over your goals. I want you to really think about that. I want you to really let that sink in. And I really want that to cause you pain. Because the only reason you're going to change is if that causes you pain. You prioritized a short-term hit of dopamine over your goals. You know what you should be doing. Everybody that's watching this, you know exactly, you know exactly what you should be doing. You know exactly how you should be trading. You know the answer. You sit in this, li listen to this right now. You know what you should be doing. If you got your plan and you got your rules and you know you need to be following that plan and those rules, I mean, what else do you want? You know what you need to be doing. It comes down to you and you got to make that mindset shift. Because as I just said, there's only two paths, the path of a professional, the path of a degenerate. And every day that you come into the market, you are left with a choice. Which one are you going to be? The passive degenerate, it leads nowhere. It's a dead end. It just leads to a future filled with a bunch of blown up accounts, as I said, and a future filled with regret because you'll know deep down that you didn't fulfill your potential all because of a lack of discipline. So that's what I, that's, that was the conversation I had to myself when I, when I had that first blown up account, I was at those crossroads and I had to make a choice and I chose the path of being a professional, of keeping my discipline, of staying patient, staying the course, following my plan day in, day out, day in, day out. Now I'm human. Sometimes I'm still going to slip up. You're going to slip up sometimes. And the times you do slip up, you need to hold yourself accountable. The times you do slip up, you can't let that go unnoticed. You can't let yourself get comfortable making BS mistakes, mistakes of a degenerate. You can't let that inner degenerate get comfortable doing that. That's where punishments come into play. You need to give yourself punishments. The next question I get is, okay, well, what, what punishments do I, do I do? Think, think about it. What do you hate to do the most? What do you hate to do the most? Do that. What came to your mind when I said that? Do that. That's what you do. A lot of you guys, you just need to, you need to stop overthinking it. Okay. You know what you should be doing. You have your plan. Do that plan. It comes down to a decision. I can't sit there and do it for you. I can't pull the trigger for you. I can't follow your plan for you. I can give you all the tools. I can give you all the technical analysis. I can give you all the guidance. But at the end of the day, it's you in front of those charts. It's you that makes the final decision. It's you that pulls that trigger. It's you that follows that plan. It's all on you. Me or no mentor can be disciplined for you. It's a decision. It's a decision. It's a decision. That decision is 100% in your control. It's a 100% in your control. Let that think, let that sink in. You pull that trigger and you make the decision. Am I going to be a professional or I'm going to be a degenerate? You know what to do. And I'm going to leave you with this. There is a quote that I like. All right. I want you to really comprehend this between stimulus and response. There is space in that space is our power to choose our response in our response lies our growth and our freedom so you're gonna have well, i mean we're not robots you're a human being you're gonna have you're gonna feel that urge which is that stimulus that i just just read to you 
you're going to feel that urge to take that trade to break your rules. It's going to happen sometimes. But what's, what you're going to need to do once you feel that urge, as I said just a second ago, you need to be self-aware. You need to be self-aware of when you are having that urge. And just by being self-aware of it, it loses a lot of power over you. When you're self-aware of when the inner degenerate is trying to pull you down into mediocrity. You have to be self-aware of when it is occurring. And once you're self-aware of it, that's when you can pick your response. That's when I want you to remember this talk that I'm having with you right now. I want my voice to pop in your head. Which, which, which decision is it going to be? Remember, we're at a crossroad here. Which decision is it going to be? Because there's only two choices. One leads to your dreams. The other leads to a path of or a future filled with regret. So which is it going to be? How you respond is 100% in your control. So make the right response. Make the correct decision.